was um, initially the uh, director of the Office of Business Liaison for the Secretary of Commerce, Malcolm Baldrige, at the beginning of the Reagan administration. And in 1983, I went over to the White House as special assistant to the president for business liaison. So I was the go-between between the president and one of his most important constituent groups, the American business community and the international business community. I was charged with creating events for him to highlight his economic agenda. And we agreed to do an event uh, with a trade association as we were beginning the effort on the second tax bill. It was a, an event in which the president was strongly and very publicly criticized because of, of aspects of the tax agenda that this group didn't like. And he handled it beautifully. On the flight back to Washington on Air Force One, and I was quite depressed because in my mind, I was writing the headlines of, of this terrible event um, from a, a criticism and, and a, an opposition perspective. And I will never forget, the president told me, you know, don't worry about it. It, it went fine. And I actually enjoyed it. And that made all the difference in the world to me, that, that he knew what those headlines were going to be. And yet he was able to put his own um, public criticism aside and be empathetic with how I was feeling, but also to share with me that he liked the challenge. And I, I respected him before that, and I respected him so much more after. He was the real deal. He was self-aware. He was content with the person that he was. And if you saw him in front of an audience of 20,000 in a stadium somewhere, or you saw him in the Oval Office with six other people, he was the same person. He was authentic. His legacy and his beliefs merit understanding, analysis, and study, and they merit being taken to heart. He really believed it can be done. And that optimism and that belief was contagious. And I think all of us who had the privilege of serving in his administration, and particularly those of us who worked with him in the White House, caught that belief and carried it on through the rest of our lives. It is worth the time, it's worth the money to keep the memory alive because the president made radical changes in our country, changes for the good that deserve to be honored.